Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if your Wi-Fi adapter is disabled or hidden in the device manager settings on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the device manager if for some reason you've already closed out of it. And you want to select the View tab up at the top and select where it says Show Hidden Devices. And now you want to expand the networking adapters once again and see if that appears now in the list here. And if you want to identify if one of these network adapters is hidden, if you right-clicked on it and it said Disabled Device, that means it's presently enabled. So just to give you guys an example there, you can see now if we were right click on one that was disabled, there would be an option to enable the device and that's how you can tell. There's also a little down arrow next to or on top of the icon. Better to illustrate if there are certain devices that have been disabled in the device manager settings here to make it a little bit easier to identify. And again, you just would right click on it and then enable device. You may also want to consider right clicking on them and updating drivers as well. Browse my computer for drivers and then select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then select next. Close out of here. Now you want to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, you'll come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration. Successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must reset the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here at this point and then restart your device. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point, your Wi-Fi adapter should be up and running. You should be able to view it in device manager settings. And then the final step was just trying to get back online if you were having an issue, just kind of refreshing the network adapter. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.